do people with antisocial personality disorder usually uh, get for treatment? What in general do they usually get? Well, they, usually they don't get much treatment for this uh, disorder, which is the problem. Often it's a, it's a disorder that leads to exclusion from treatment. Uh, so this is a group that's uh, very undertreated, even though there's a vast amount of people with this disorder um, and also with the comorbid um, drug and alcohol disorder. So it's a huge problem. And this disorder is actually the most uh, frequent disorder you see uh, in, within personality disorders. So there's a huge request for treatment for this group. Normally they would get, they, of course there is uh, uh, attempts to treat them and they would probably get uh, contingency management and some sorts of cognitive treatment, uh, problem solving treatment, but not uh, very rarely treatment that really targets the disorder as such. So have you ever had to exclude anyone from receiving treatment? Well, our, 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 our hope and our aim was to include them in treatment and not exclude them. So we wanted to shift the attitudes also among treatment provide providers to say, yes, they are difficult, yes, they get angry, yes, they uh, can be manipulating, but that's no reason to exclude them. That's because they have antisocial personality disorder. So let's see, can we talk with them about the disorder? Can we help them identify it? And can we help them maybe um, think about and if they want to change and make some changes in their lifestyle? So tell me a bit about the Impulse of Lifestyle Counselling program. What does it involve? Yeah, um, it uh, it's, uh, involves six sessions. It's an outpatient program, so it's quite short. And it involves six sessions. And it's called, I should say, we've been very inspired by uh, Glenny Walters, who's uh, developed uh, the Lifestyle Theory and the Lifestyle Change program, which is for people in prisons. And, uh, but we've shortened it for the outpatient uh, format. So it's individual six, uh, six sessions, and uh, in these sessions you it's psychoeducational, so it's not about getting big insight, it's more about uh, helping and, uh, um, and supporting the patients in identifying problems related to the antisocial behaviour, and then contemplating on considering does it make sense to change the behaviour, and then also uh, support those who engage in change of behaviour. So do you think you can make a dif really make a difference in the patient's life in just six sessions? Well, it's, uh, uh, gladly to say it, uh, our, our research shows that it does make a difference. Uh, and also uh, I think it's important to state that it's made a huge difference in the attitudes toward this group. Shifting from instead of being a diagnosis of exclusion, it's now a diagnosis of interest and we can work with them. It's, uh, it's quite simple, you, learn, uh, you can learn the program in a day and a half and then you can actually offer the patient something relevant. So, so uh, of course it's not a great effect, but this program was not meant to. Of course you cannot reach a great effect in six sessions, if you turn up to all six mm -hmm. sessions. But you can engage people and you can make them feel like there's an offer and uh, that targets uh, some problems that they experience in their lives without uh, them being judged, because if they feel like they're being judged and told to alter behaviour, then they won't show up for the sessions. So in that way, I think we have developed a program that uh, shifts attitudes among the treatment providers and the patients. So during the sessions, do you ever talk about the patient's childhood and mm -hmm. maybe what happened mm -hmm. earlier on in life that could mm -hmm. have triggered their antisocial mm -hmm. personality disorder? Well, the workbooks are not aimed at that. They're very aimed at now and here and what, what can help you now and here. But uh, of course the patients will have uh, lots of explanations and reasons which also can be uh, um, um, explained by childhood uh, traumas or experiences. And I'm sure that uh, now I'm not uh, giving the treatment, but of course if it comes up you have to uh, pay attention and pay respect for that and it might be help, uh, helping identifying why they have this behaviour now. But the, the, the sessions are one hour and you need to s s keep focus on what you talk about. So you cannot, uh, you cannot uh, the trigger is not to uh, that the patients go out on a tangent and maybe spend half an hour talking about it. It could be helpful, but it could also be a way of blaming others for the situation. So we have this, uh, this uh, we've told the treatment providers always get back to the subject, to the focus of, of the session and say, we're here now, it's you who are here. Let's talk about what we can do, what, what you can do to help you, you now, because otherwise we don't really help the patients either. Okay, well thank you for talking to me about that. You're very welcome.